Kids, don't do this at home. What are you doing with these? Are these like just for screwing around purposes or are these winners or are these are the same thing Devin has? Deer. What happened? You hit a deer? We come along to the back of my truck to bend the bumper out. You hit a deer? <laughs> yeah, this is a holy crazy game. We don't want these tires. Yeah, I know. I'm holy starting to wonder about How many miles are on those? Uh... Probably 2,000. <laughs> no more than that. He just parks in their yard. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who is this guy? I'll go matter. tell him. But Jesus, big man. <laughs> now where is he gonna park? <laughs> does it like clap inside there? It makes does, a weird noise. does it? It does. Yeah, those are nice tires. It's an all-terrain tire. Oh yeah. Everybody's picking on me for my tires. My tires are shot. I'm gonna Mine buy brand new than... ones. My... So me and a few of the boys are in the old Cummins. I had to go get some wings. We got Kyle S, Kyle D, Kyle D's driving. Unfortunately, it's raining. Otherwise, we would uh, get some rolling coal shots because this thing definitely rolls the coal. All you gotta do is open the back window. You think we can get it that way? <laughs> Jesus, dude. We can break loose brand new 35s. Oh, I didn't, I didn't expect you to lose traction. I thought you were just gonna roll some coal. I'm, I'm in the back sliding around. Did you get the shot? No, I got, I actually might not have gotten the shot because he threw me around. You see, when you have friends that have diesels, you have a lot more fun getting to the place that you're actually going to than the place itself. Everybody's got Duramaxes, except for you though, pal. You're the, you're the lone, lone wolf. Cummins. One and only. Luckily, we all got different color Duramaxes though. We got a silver, green, and blue. Well, you guys, I'm extremely happy that we took the long way around. Much more fun. A lot more fun. Did you even get the shot? Oh, I got the shot! Pretty soon we're gonna be snowmobiling. This is the crew. We just need uh, Nate, uh, Ian. Ian. Two them rats behind us got sleds. Do they? Devin got a sled? Yeah. Really? What does he have? A player's 500. Poured out. Is it? Yeah. How'd the Duramax treat you? She just go sideways. I was almost thrown out of the back. Hey, she didn't make mine extra loady. <laughs> I just got fries. We just went to the gun shop and we got uh, 12, 12 pounds of Tannerite. We have another 10. I bought two bags, Kyle D bought one bag, Matt bought another bag. So right here alone we have 12 pounds. The funniest part was is we just bought 12 pounds in front of a cop. Like there was a cop literally standing at the counter. Right guys? Yep. And he's just smiling and he's saying, well be careful with that stuff. Stay a safe distance away. So what's the plan you guys? We're gonna, we're gonna get a car. We're gonna put 22 pounds of Tannerite either inside of it or under the car. Shoot it off hopefully get good enough lighting so you guys can see it. Okay, so we had to stop by each one of our houses to get some supplies. I ended up getting my tripod and this massive flashlight that uh, puts out all sorts of lumens. I also brought some earplugs, a plastic bag to protect my camera because it's currently raining out. It's 8.30 right now. How long do you think until uh, detonation time? A little over an hour. I mean, I'm not in any rush. I just know that uh, we gotta set up shop before we uh, set up shop, you know what I'm saying? Just a few more months, a few more weeks actually. When's the last time this thing's ran? Not that long ago, a couple weeks. There we go, that's my kind of caliber there. Justin, you know what you're doing here? Yeah, I'll shoot this. <laughs> this guy. Are you gonna be the shot for the night? Are you really? Yo, do you have uh, 15 shells? A box. <laughs> yeah, you might want to get a box. All right, so we're, we got 22 pounds of tanner, right? We got the we're... hole airtighted. Okay, yep, there was a hole in there, so you got Cap tape on the there. Seal. Perfect, look at that. Hopefully 22 pounds fits in there. <laughs> nah, she's gonna... If not, what are we gonna do? If not, we're just gonna use as much as we <laughs> can to use stuff. So are we mixing this individually? I will toss them all together. I'll call it good. Now, I'm not a Tannerite expert, gonna, so uh, I, I suggest that we bust out the old Google 
You can't uh, Google these things when you're about to do illegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, not illegal. it's not illegal. It's just frowned upon. Can we go get the car up there? I think the car is, is a good idea. Right. Even the cop told us to have a good time. Exactly. I never recommend listening to directions, but right here it says, do not transport target after mixing. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to mix up 22 pounds of it and then take it in the bag of a gator. <laughs> that sounds real safe. We're in the big old case. We're gonna go get this car. Where's the shifter, buddy? Right here. Oh, that's a nice we got shifter. Got a shifter here. That is beautiful. Oh, I got him so <laughs> good. <laughs> He's getting soaked inside the car. Up in here? Yeah. Should have brought some kind of a tractor with lights. Your truck's covered. Covered? <laughs> it's so bad. Can't be that bad. Is it that bad? Yeah, yeah. Let's go find out. <laughs> Never Devin, you gotta drive it back, buddy. We ended up taking two tractors and a fellow Duramax. It's actually not as muddy as I thought it would be. I thought it'd be a little bit more muddy. Did you drive it all the way here? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Are you cold? I was cold. <laughs> Marksmen are talking about their shot. I'm getting my shot. This is a beautiful sight. Beautiful sight. It was awesome when we actually flipped that thing by hand. I think they want to put the tannery underneath the vehicle so that it hopefully throws it up. I mean, it exploding would be really cool, but I kind of want to see it being thrown up. Don't you guys agree? I made it in the Duramax. We, we started out in the case. The case wasn't cool enough, so I moved into the Duramax. It's nice. Yep. In the case, we had to keep the air conditioner on because it kept on fogging up. And in here it's nice and warm. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> my, fing my fingers are now getting their feeling back. All because we got chicken wings. Aren't you glad we got chicken wings? <laughs> 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 Best 12 bucks I've ever spent. <laughs> you still owe me like $20. Yeah, don't give it to you. <laughs> get that. What are they doing? What's the point of that? <laughs> So we needed Kyle D's tractor to actually haul the car here. Kyle S just randomly took a super powerful tractor to just, I guess, take for a joy ride. Well, they said it would, Light if it they up. put it in the woods, then they had to use the single. Oh, okay. Because the dual wouldn't fit. Oh, I see, I see. Blowing stuff up isn't necessarily a clean jab. Devin, your truck did quite well getting us back here safely. Hey, try shaking that oh. up first. No. And then throw it. You in. have to add the stuff to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So what are we doing here, fellas? Are we shaking bacon in the bag or the five gallon? Dude, wait, you gotta wait. We wait because we can't dump it all in here. Stop it. No, because then we gotta Stop dump it. it. Well, I guess we Stop have to be. It. Dude, this is so much oh, tanner. Bag Get all the bags. Oh my god. What if there's just a sniper in the bush right now? It's just like, wait, wait. Oh, we don't, we're not mixed up, so we're good. Okay. How many pounds is this? This is what 22 pounds looks like. 22 pounds of tanner, right? Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> You're supposed to shoot it, not snort it. You gotta at least draw a bullseye on there. So we can check and see where we hit it after it blows up. <laughs> There's the bucket of joy. There it is. made it to the car. I see what 22 pounds of Tannerite did to a vehicle. Wow. Let's not even get to the car, let's get to the hole. That's a deep hole. It's probably at least uh, 16 inches deep. And here's the car. Wow. It blew a hole right in the back end. Holy smokes. Because we put the Tannerite probably right back in there. It exploded. It blew the whole trunk out. Bits and pieces of the body. Bunch of plastic, bunch of plastic. Bumpers, wheel wells. 
Body panels, the grill. Is that the gas tank? Are you kidding me? It blew the gas tank right out of it. Wow. And the gas tank looks like it's in beautiful condition. Man, you could reuse that sucker. Oh, no, you can't. There's a hole in there. It blew the cherry bomb off. <laughs> oh, that was that one right off the exhaust right back here. Wow. So last night, the car was originally facing this way. Now imagine the front end staying the same, but the back end pivoting over here. And the bucket was right there, and the bucket was in the back seat. It exploded, rotated, and just blew this thing to bits. But last night when we drove it here, this thing's locked right up. You can see that tire burn out all the way to the wire. That one completely roasted right out. There's a hole in it. Yeah, that popped last night, but you couldn't really see it. That's what 22 pounds of Tannerite does to a car. Yeah.